right, guys, this is our last opportunity to prognosticate I about the final four that. before we hear <laughs> who the actual final four are. So, Pete, if you had the chance to pick right now, actually not right now, but ultimately when these games are all said and done on Saturday, who's your top no, four? This is the final four. This is, this is it. There's no reason to watch on Saturday because this is what it's going to be. <laughs> Don't tell that Al to the networks. Alabama is <laughs> going to beat Missouri. Alabama is going to be your number one team. Florida State's going to beat Georgia Tech by one and make Doug Chapman's brain explode. <laughs> TCU earned this. Put 80 on the board against Iowa State. Please just make it easy. Don't slip by. Blow out Iowa State. And Arizona is going to do it again. Rich Rod, just to wow. show Michigan, just, you know, your Pac-12 coach of the year on the same day you fire Brady Hoke. Here you go, Michigan. We're in the playoff right now. You are. Pete, man. Pete, Pete. I what told you? you what's going to happen. Man, I can't I say it. I know. Man. It's so I can't, it's easy. So easy. <laughs> I'm just yeah, telling yeah, you what's yeah. happening here. My four looks a little different from Pete, of course. No. We never agree on anything. He's Marshall so in there somewhere. I've got to put Alabama at one. They're going to handle Missouri. I don't think it'll even be that competitive of a football game. Oregon will not lose to Arizona the second time around. It's so hard to beat a team twice in one year. Three, TCU, the hardest working team in college football, <laughs> might beat Iowa State by 45 points. And Florida State will squeeze by Georgia Tech. That's why they'll stay at four. They won't get jumped by anybody. They won't move above TCU. They'll stay right there. That's how the four are looking. Plus, like I said, I'm a conspiracy theorist, and they want Alabama and Florida State playing in New Orleans it's because it's easier Brown, for those fans James to get Brown there, Brown pack those bowls out, pack that bowl game out. That's what they want. I am not a conspiracy theorist, but for the first time this season, I think Doug and I are actually on yeah, the same agreeing. page about something. I can't imagine Florida State coming this far with as many close calls as they've had and not getting it done against Tech, although I agree it's not going to be easy. Oregon, I'm glad they lost to Arizona earlier this year because the stakes are so much higher. This is a revenge game for the Ducks. Not only have they already lost to Arizona this year, but they've lost two in a row to the Cats. And again, Arizona's defense out of, outside of Scooby Wright, I'm not so sure. TCU, I think Gary Patterson will have this team ready. I think they are arguably the most balanced team in the country, oh. offensively and defensively. You gotta get you a TV. I, no, I do. I watch the games and this is oh. what I come up with. And Florida State, close call against Georgia Tech, but I can't envision an undefeated team not landing in the playoff. So, that TCU plays time. Florida State right now. Who are you picking? Florida State. Of course you I'll, are. FSU. Yeah, of I, I course you are. I would still pick Florida State, but I think TCU would make it more difficult for four quarters. No, they wouldn't. Not just two. Not no, two the wouldn't. way every other team you has in the TCU. first half. No. Four quarters. Ohio it would be State tough. In this that thing. four is going to look just like that. They want Florida State and Alabama in the southeast right there with their fans. I didn't realize you were conspiracy. And just oh, yeah. imagine if we Ohio never State beats Wisconsin. Can you imagine what's going to happen if Ohio – when, I see, because there's a zero percent chance, if Ohio State beats Wisconsin. Wisconsin and they are left out of the final four. Buckeye fans are going to just go absolutely apocalyptic. And we'll send point. them all to your Twitter and account. Watch oh, Mel no, I'm saying they <laughs> should Melvin be. Melvin going to have about 300 yards rushing just because and of And they're Pete. still going to lose. I actually see Wisconsin winning this game.